a single tester online. Connect the power cables of the control unit and the tester respectively. Next, connect the network cable. Use the network cable to connect the control unit and the tester. Then connect the control unit to the switch. Finally, connect the switch to the computer. If there is only one control unit, do not connect the switch. Connect the control unit to the computer directly. Insert the aviation plug line into the corresponding channel connection ports for each unit. The polymer fixture connected externally to the aviation plug line can test the performance of pouch batteries, with polarity already marked on the fixture. The built-in probe of the device can test the performance of cylindrical batteries, with the upper probe connecting to the positive pole of the battery and the lower probe connecting to the negative pole. Part 2. Configuration and Introduction of the Control Unit Connect the power supply and turn on the device. The screens of the control unit and tester will light up. On the device's body, you can find the following information on the label, control unit number, control unit IP, and server IP. The four buttons on the body from left to right are, in order, back, increase, decrease, and confirm. The main menu on the control unit's display has two options, channel status, item one, and configuration, item two. Select the second option, configuration and press Confirm to enter the submenu. The first item in the submenu, Device ID 68, represents the control unit identifier. The second item, Get IP Address Manual, represents the method for obtaining the IP address, which includes two modes, Manual and Automatic. Item 3, MAC Address refers to the physical address. Item 4, LP, is the local IP, and it should be set according to the factory label. Item 5, SM, subnet mask, is a fixed value. Item 6, GW, gateway, is set to 192.168.1.1. You don't need to change this. Item 7, SP is the server IP address, set to 192.168.1.250. The server IP address and the IP address used for the local connection on your computer, example, Ethernet on Win 10 and Win 11, must match. Otherwise, you won't be able to connect to the computer. Before installing BTS, please ensure that your computer meets the following requirements. Step 1. Disable firewall and network protection. Enter the Windows security. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. Find the Manage Settings under the Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Turn off real-time protection, cloud-delivered protection, and automatic sample submission. Then click on Firewall and Network Protection in the left column. Turn off Domain Network, Private Network, and Public Network. Step 2. Set your computer to never sleep. Open Computer Settings, then Find. Power and Sleep in the System Settings. Click on Sleep and set both options to Never. Please note that these instructions are based on Windows 11 and may vary slightly if you are using a different version of Windows. Part 3. Setting PC IP. Take Win 11 as an example. The server IP address and the IP address used for the local connection on your computer, example, Ethernet on Win 10 and Win 11, must match. Otherwise, you won't be able to connect to the computer. 2. Access Control Panel. Click Network and Internet. Access the Network and Sharing Center. Click Change Adapter Settings in the left column. Right-click Ethernet. Click Properties and select the Internet Protocol Version 4 TCP slash IPv4 item. Click Properties and select. Use the following IP address. Enter the IP address 192.168.1.250 manually. The IP address must be the same as the IP address of the control unit server. Click the subnet mask input box to automatically detect the mask address. Click OK, then click close. Note, it is not recommended to configure a single network adapter with two IP addresses. 
If you need to connect to a device while having internet access on your computer simultaneously, it's advisable to configure a wireless network adapter, use a USB to Ethernet adapter, or use a computer with dual network cards. Part 4 Software Download Next, we will demonstrate how to download the BTS software. Open your web browser, enter the website URL newari-usa.com. Once on the company's official website, locate the Software section, click on BTS 8.1, and then click on the Download Nowhere BTS 8.0.1. This version is the latest one. Part 5 Software Installation to ensure the successful installation of your software, please exit antivirus software like 360 Security or uninstall such software. Alternatively, you can add the BTS Software Installation Directory folder to your software's trusted zone. After downloading the file, unzip it and click on the unzipped folder. Right-click and choose. Run as administrator. A page will pop up with four options. Please check all of them and click Next. Click I accept. And then click Next. You can choose the software's installation location here. Install it in the default location. Click Install. And then click Finish. For Python and server installation, follow the prompts in the pop-up box to complete the operation. Part 6. User Login and Channel Mapping After the software installation is complete, open the BTS software. Click on User Login and use the following login credentials, username, admin, password, new R. Then right-click on Channel Mapping. Right-click on Main Channel Default Mapping 1x8 and right-click on Auxiliary Channel Default Mapping Average Mapping. After making these selections, right-click to save the mapping. If the software installation is not successful, please contact customer support for resolution. That wraps up the entire demonstration. Thanks for watching.